let's get your hedge trimmers back in shape. We've removed the, the battery over here so that we don't have any accidents. And here what we have is a Mill Bastard file. It's a small one. It's actually Nicholson. Nicholson makes a pretty good brand. They're easy to find at Home Depot or online. There are lots of super high quality, but this will more than do you. What we're going to do is sharpen these teeth. You'll notice that down here we have the flat, the iron that it cuts against, and then this is what does the cutting. And you'll see that on each side there's a bevel. And you'll notice that on this one it's, yeah, focus, it's dark, and on this side it's nice and shiny. Because all we've done is take our file, lay it in here, and then pushing down, following the bevel, we've cut a clean, sharp edge to it. If you've never used a file before, they go one direction, forward. You don't drag them back because that'll help dull them, although it doesn't really make that big a difference, but you're wasting energy. Pushing forward. And we're going to push down and away, right? Down and away when we do it. And you're just going to get that shiny. Follow that bevel, and that's all it's going to take you. You're going to need to do both sides. And then you're going to have to flip it and do these cutters on the back side. These guys down here. Now, we don't sharpen this side unless there's a burr or some piece of metal sticking up. We want to leave that flat. The cutting edge is going to be what we cut from the top. When you're done, you can take your file, and then you can take a brush. You can use one of these from Harbor Freight, just a brass brush. Or you can actually buy a carding brush. And you're going to clean out the little shavings that are inside. And I don't know if we can get her to focus here, but you can see the dark pieces out in here. We're going to clean that out so that our file lasts longer. And that's all there is to it. It's not expensive. It doesn't take a lot of talent. And you don't need to buy a Dremel tool. You can do this by hand, and you'll be a lot more accurate and a lot less risky. Good luck.